Hey guys, it's Sarah from All Point Bus Ladies. I mean, I thought we're out of the bearish market. However, there are things no one can possibly predict or have any influence on. So before we start, the current market's currently at $392 billion. Bitcoin's trading at $8.6,000. Ripple's at six ninety, dollars and Ripple's at $0.70. Cents. So Bitcoin has crossed the 9k barrier. It's struggled to go back over 10 and it seems like we've got an interesting future few days ahead of us to try and recover from it. I mean, what do we have in a little bit of a green? So there's a little recovery for Ethereum. Um, I mean, it's not even 0.1%. So there's some stellar Tether. Wow. Tether is booming. We've got Bitcoin, which is back again. On my video on Bitcoin, loads of people commented that I didn't make info about the pump and dump. And the reason for it being is I made the video before the Binance issue happened. So please don't accuse me of things like that because I would never ignore info like that. So we've also got Ethereum Classic icons doing okay over the 24 hours, probably one of few of them. So yeah, as you guys can see, it's, it's a bloodbath. And I'm not gonna lie, it's not pretty. But before I get to it, remember to hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and let's crack on with the news. So basically, there are two reasons why the market went down, I think 50 billion in less than a day. The cryptocurrencies have fallen because of two reasons. First of them is being Mt. Gox doing again moves, and he moved reportedly 8,000 Bitcoin and 6,000 Bitcoin cash out of their cold storage. So the Mt. Gox trustee is once again moving Bitcoin and Bitcoin cash out of cold storage. The cryptos has been transferred in seven different transactions and in transactions totals of like 2,000 Bitcoin and 2,000 Bitcoin cash. It is actually not known if the trustee is selling these coins or just moving them around, but if he's actually selling them, then hopefully it is an over-the-counter market rather than directly dealing with the large-scale investors which are willing to purchase thousands of Bitcoins, as this could possibly disrupt the market even more. I mean, I don't even want to imagine what would have happened. But the trustee, we know he's been actively selling lately, which was a bit of an issue as well. Then secondly, we've got Abbott's computers, which were sized by investigators and police because there is suspicion that they may have falsified their balance sheets to deceive investors. This is a serious claim to which happened midday-ish of my time and basically the news are that South Korea's largest crypto exchange being Abbott is being investigated by the police about a potential fraud. There has also been 10 investigators sent by the South Korea's Financial Supervisory Commission. Uh, they basically are looking for fraud surrounding coin listings because the police believe that unfortunately the Abbott has falsified the balance sheet in order to deceive the investors. The investigators sized Abbott's computer system and that that's basically in order to properly audit them and ensure they accurately report their holdings. I mean, these are just my speculations, guys, and this is not guaranteed that those two news and events are the reason of the current market dip. However, it is quite possible that this could influence the coming weekend. Um, but I've got some good news because I like to always bring some positivity into the world. And the first crypto vending machine can tell if you're 21 and sell you beer. So there we go, we've got another usage for blockchain. And this is absolutely amazing. It's, it's a really funny article, I think. And it's basically, the startup is by Civic and it's been founded by Shark Tank from South Africa, entrepreneur. And this startup will unveil their product, their first crypto beer vending machine at the Consensus 2018 next week. So guys, if you're going there, please look out for it, take photos of it and show me how it actually works. I mean, the idea of it is absolutely brilliant because I often forget my ID and something like that would be quite useful. Apparently, I don't look on my age. Um, I'm well over 21. In Europe, we can drink when we're over 18. Though, like in America, we have to be 21. Um, but yeah, so this is just a bit of like a random news for me because I thought I'll drop something positive into the market. 
Uh, remember to follow me on my Twitter where I've asked the question and I'm trying to seek the, opp the opportunity again by saying that it's a shopping time again. And are you getting your bags filled? Some of you saying that they stop. I love when people post memes because they always make me laugh way too much. Um, some people are saying already all money in. And it's very important to know that you can't invest what you can't afford to lose. It's one of the main rules in crypto. We know that it's a very volatile market like it showed today. So be very careful what you guys do. Anyway, guys. Follow me, follow all Converse ladies, subscribe to our channel, hit a like button and I'll catch you guys later. Bye!